this week I want to introduce you to some friends that we have over here. We've got some cows, as you can see, they look a bit vexed. I'm not going to get too close because they look a bit aggy. It's the cow gang. They really look like they're on this thing. Basically, brothers and sisters, just seeing the cows reminded me of an ayah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the people who are misguided. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they're more misguided than the cattle. That they are more astray than the cattle, right? Than these cows. And if you think about it, brothers and sisters, a human being, right, who doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has less value than these cattle right here. Because at least from these cattle and these cows, you can get milk. At least from these cows, you can get leather. You know, you can get something from them. There is some benefit that comes from these cows. Despite how, you know, if you look at them as an animal, you know, they're alhamdulillah, they're a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they're not the most intelligent animal. You know, they're not the most, you know, like you can see flies all around them. And, but a person who's misguided, a person who's astray, a person who doesn't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has less value on this earth than these cows. Because these cows, like I said, at least they produce some fruits, some meat can come from them, some milk can come, some leather can come. But what is going to come from a human being who is misguided, who doesn't worship Allah? That human being will live in this world and all that human being will leave behind is his feces and his urine and his bones and his skin that will rot into the ground. Okay. These cows are not creating chaos. Unless if you remove this, like, well, like that one looks, that, he looks vexed. I'm not gonna, I think I've invaded his privacy, he looks vexed. But um, I'm saying right now, they're not looking like they're gonna create any chaos. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, they're doing their thing. If anything, there is benefit from them. Even though that benefit may be from such an animal, but the human being that's misguided is no benefit. So I just wanted to share that, that benefit with you guys, right? Basically, just, I, I want that really to, to sink in. These cows, what makes you better than them is that you worship Allah. If not, this cow is more valuable than you. If you don't worship Allah, this cow has more benefit in this world than you. That's the point I wanted to get home. Just, I just really want you to just look at these cows, honestly. No disrespect to the cows, but this cow is better than you if you don't pray. If you don't pray, I'm, I'm sorry, I really want this point to be driven home. These cows are better than you if you don't pray. There's more benefit. Honestly, I just, just look at that. Can you get closer to the cow, please? <laughs> I don't think they're getting it, man. The cow is better than you if you don't pray. That's how deep it is. This cow produces milk. This, look, 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 look at the snot coming out of his mouth. Can you see it? Can you see him? The snot dripping out of his nose, this one here. Did you catch that? That cow is better than you if you don't pray. If you don't worship Allah, these cows are better than you. These cows produce. What do you produce? If you don't worship Allah, you don't produce nothing but your own feces. And all you do is you leave behind corruption in the land. Anyway, I'm going to head off inshallah ta'ala. I'm enjoying this nature, 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 nature. I'm going to jump back onto the car. Nature is how we do. It's how we do. It's how we do. Salaamu Alaikum Carls. Salaamu Alaikum. If you think about it, brothers and sisters, a human being, right, who doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has less value than these cattle right here. 